Numbers, more than meets the eye. Did you know that seeing the number 5 can make some people taste apples? It sounds strange, but the world of numbers is full of these fascinating quirks. Our brains, those incredible networks of neurons, don't just process numbers as cold, hard facts. Instead, we perceive them through a lens of unique experiences, creating a world where numbers are anything but boring. This essay will explore the fascinating and sometimes weird ways our brains perceive numbers. Deep within our skulls, a dedicated team of brain regions handles the complex task of number processing. One key player is the parietal lobe, often called the brain's math center. This region helps us understand quantities, compare numbers, and perform calculations. But it doesn't work alone. The visual cortex helps us recognize written numerals, while the language centers connect numbers to words and meanings. This intricate interplay of brain regions creates our rich and sometimes unusual numerical experiences. Imagine a world where the number 3 always appears blue, or the number 8 tastes like chocolate. For people with synesthesia, this is a reality. Synesthesia is a neurological phenomenon where stimulation of one sense triggers experiences in another, unrelated sense. For some synesthetes, numbers automatically evoke specific colors, shapes, or even personalities. This blending of senses offers a glimpse into the brain's remarkable ability to create unique perceptual experiences. Have you ever thought of the number 7 as being lucky or the number 4 as being unlucky? If so, you've experienced a phenomenon known as ordinal linguistic personification. This fancy term describes our tendency to assign personalities or genders to numbers. For example, in some cultures, odd numbers are seen as masculine and even numbers as feminine. These associations, often rooted in cultural beliefs or personal experiences, demonstrate how our brains weave narratives around numbers, making them more relatable and memorable. Section 5. The Snark Effect. Numbers on an invisible line. Close your eyes and imagine a number line stretching out in front of you, with smaller numbers to the left and larger numbers to the right. This mental image is something we often take for granted, but it plays a crucial role in how we understand and interact with numbers in our daily lives. Now, without opening your eyes, point to where you think the number 2 would be. This simple exercise can reveal a lot about how our brains are wired to process numerical information. Chances are, you pointed to the left. This isn't just a random guess. It's a reflection of a deeper cognitive process. This is the snark effect in action. The snark effect, or spatial numerical association of response codes, is a fascinating phenomenon that shows how our brains link numbers with spatial positions. Snark, which stands for spatial numerical association of response codes, describes our tendency to mentally represent numbers along a horizontal line, with smaller numbers on the left and larger numbers on the right. This effect is not just limited to abstract thinking, it influences how we perform tasks and make decisions involving numbers. This unconscious spatial mapping highlights the interconnectedness of our numerical and spatial reasoning abilities. For instance, when we solve math problems or even when we count objects, our brains are constantly using this mental number line to organize and process information efficiently. Research has shown that this spatial numerical association is deeply ingrained in our cognitive system. Brain imaging studies reveal that specific areas of the brain are activated when we think about numbers, and these areas overlap with those involved in spatial reasoning. Interestingly, this effect is observed in children as well. As they learn to count and understand numbers, they naturally adopt this left-to-right orientation, which suggests that the snark effect is a fundamental aspect of numerical cognition. However, it's important to note that cultural factors can influence this spatial representation. In cultures where reading and writing are done from right to left, the mental number line can be reversed, with smaller numbers on the right and larger numbers on the left. Understanding the snark effect has practical applications in education and cognitive training. By leveraging this natural tendency, educators can develop more effective teaching strategies that align with how our brains process numerical information. As we continue to explore the intricacies of numerical cognition, the snark effect remains a key area of interest. Future research may uncover even more about how this spatial numerical association shapes our understanding of the world around us. So, the next time you think about numbers, remember that invisible line stretching out in front of you. It's more than just a mental image. It's a window into the fascinating ways our minds work. 
Section 6. The Anchoring Bias, Tricked by the First Number Imagine you're at a flea market and you see a beautiful antique vase. It's intricately designed with delicate patterns that seem to tell a story of a bygone era. The craftsmanship is impeccable and you can't help but be drawn to it. The seller, sensing your interest, starts by quoting an outrageously high price. This piece is a rare find, they say, and it's priced at $500. You know that this is way beyond what you were expecting to pay. You scoff, but secretly that initial high number has anchored itself in your mind. You think, there's no way I'm paying that much, but the number $500 lingers. You decide to negotiate. How about $100, you counter? The seller shakes their head, and after some back and forth, you manage to bring the price down to $250. You feel a sense of accomplishment, thinking you've gotten a good deal. But here's the catch. Even though you've negotiated the price down significantly, you might still end up paying more than you would have if the seller had started with a lower number. If the initial price had been $200, you might have settled for $150. This is the anchoring bias a cognitive bias where our judgments are heavily influenced by the first piece of information we receive, even if it's irrelevant. Our brains latch onto that first number, and it skews our perception of value. The anchoring bias doesn't just apply to flea markets. It affects many areas of our lives, from salary negotiations to real estate deals. Whenever we encounter a number, our brains use it as a reference point, often without us even realizing it. Understanding the anchoring bias can help us make more informed decisions. By being aware of this cognitive trap, we can try to adjust our thinking and not let the first number dictate our choices. Next time you're negotiating, remember to question that initial anchor and consider the true value of what you're dealing with. So, the next time you find yourself in a situation where a price or number is thrown at you, take a moment to pause. Reflect on whether that number is influencing your decision more than it should. By doing so, you can avoid being tricked by the first number and make choices that are truly in your best interest. Section 7. The Power of Framing 99 Cents versus $1 At first glance, the difference seems trivial, just a single cent. But in the world of retail, this tiny difference can have a huge impact on consumer behavior. Why do stores price items at $9.99 instead of a clean $10? This pricing strategy is not random, it's a carefully calculated decision based on human psychology. It's all about the power of framing. Framing is a cognitive bias where people react to a particular choice in different ways depending on how it is presented. Our brains tend to focus on the leftmost digit of a price, a phenomenon known as the left digit effect. This means that when we see $9.99 our brain processes it as $9 rather than $10 making $9.99 seem significantly cheaper than $10, even though the difference is just a penny. This small difference can make a big impact on our purchasing decisions, even though the difference is just a penny. This penny, however, plays a crucial role in how we perceive value and make decisions. This subtle manipulation of our perception, often unnoticed by the average shopper, is a powerful tool used by retailers to influence our buying behavior. Known as the left digit effect, it demonstrates how even small changes in numerical presentation can have a big impact on our choices. This effect is so strong that it can even override our logical thinking. Demonstrates how even small changes in numerical presentation can have a big impact on our choices. Next time you're shopping, take a moment to notice how prices are framed. You might be surprised at how much influence that single cent can have on your decision-making process. Section 8. Numbers in Daily Life From Shopping to Sports From calculating discounts at the grocery store to tracking our favorite sports team's stats, numbers permeate our daily lives. Our ability to understand and manipulate numbers influences our financial decisions, our understanding of the world around us, and even our leisure activities. Whether we're crunching numbers in a spreadsheet or simply estimating the time it takes to get home, our numerical skills shape our experiences in countless ways. Section 9. The Curious Case of Number Superstitions From lucky number 7 to the fear of the number 13, Triskaidekaphobia, number superstitions abound in cultures worldwide. While these beliefs have no logical basis, they exert a powerful influence on our behavior. We might choose a specific lottery number, avoid certain dates, or even make life-altering decisions based on these deeply ingrained numerical associations. 
Number superstitions highlight the complex interplay of culture, psychology, and our innate fascination with the unknown. Section 10. Embracing the Weirdness of Number Perception The way our brains perceive numbers is anything but straightforward. From synesthetic colors to unconscious spatial mappings, our numerical experiences are shaped by a fascinating interplay of biology, culture, and individual experiences. By embracing the weirdness of number perception, we can gain a deeper appreciation for the complexities of the human mind and the hidden wonders of this fundamental aspect of our world. Section 11. The Enduring Mystery of Numbers Despite centuries of mathematical exploration, numbers continue to hold an aura of mystery. From the infinite digits of PI to the unsolved riddles of prime numbers, the world of numbers offers endless opportunities for discovery and wonder. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of the human brain, we're likely to uncover even more fascinating insights into the strange and wonderful ways we perceive the language of the universe. Numbers.